Well, supporters call these three new bus stops here on Pentagon, Pentagon Boulevard vindication after fighting for what they call uh, access to jobs and education. Those supporters finally boarded the first bus here this morning. It was a little overwhelming. It was good. It was good. It was good to see. Let the people ride. That was the slogan supporters used as they fought to get these three new RTA bus stops near the Fairfield Commons Mall. The bus ride was a very liberating bus ride. Over three years we've uh, uh, toiled and we worked hard to try to uh, to bridge the gap between the citizens of Beaver Creek and the citizens of Dayton. The controversy over adding bus service to the area began in 2011 when Beaver Creek City Council denied RTA's request for the bus stops. Leaders for Equality and Action in Dayton, also known as LEAD, then filed a federal civil rights complaint. That prompted the Federal Highway Association to launch an investigation. It decided there may have been possible discrimination denying RTA's request, and it threatened to pull millions of dollars in funding if the city didn't approve the bus stops. Opponents argued the stops would lead to higher crime and lower property values. With all the opposition, we didn't give up. They fought to the end. We were at so many city council meetings just being patient, um, praying. Ray Guy works at Walmart near the mall and takes the bus every day. I work here about six days a week, so it means a lot that I don't have to walk to and from that other bus stop. It means a lot. I mean, it's really cold outside, and it's a 1.1 it's a .1 hike from the, the bus stop down there to here, so, I mean, it means a lot. And supporters hope this leads to more people doing the same thing. And that's what we've always been about, just trying to give access to jobs to people in the community who are looking for employment, you know, to move themselves to a better place in life. I reached out to the mayor for a comment. He wasn't able to come to today's first ride because he says he had prior commitments and he said he won't be available for an interview tonight. Reporting live in Beaver Creek, Jackie Sprague, 2 News, working for you.